It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Hand Brewery out in Norway. And it's a bottle of their Fire and Flame IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's a look at the bottle cap. I'd like to thank Held for sending the beer from Norway. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. It's in a pint bottle, pint brown bottle. Nice amounts of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. It's a nice gluggy pour on this one. And it's a bright orange. IPA. Look at that for a beer. Heads dissipating quite quickly. You can see it there. Large amounts of bubbles in the glass. Now, I've not looked at my uploads on YouTube, but the Hand Brewery, I am pretty sure I've re reviewed something from these guys. If not, then I must have read about them on the internet somewhere, some blog or something or other. So beer in a glass, nice crystal clear glass of beer there. Nice levels of carbonation. I think I've seen one or two bits and pieces floating around. I think it might be a bottle conditioned beer. But that head, it, after that initial kind of, it was trying to dissipate quickly, it's, quite, it's held itself quite well. Loads of different bubble sizes in the beer. Let's get the aroma on this amber coloured ale. It's such a familiar aroma now. A really good aroma of an IPA. It's so familiar. Lots of... I'd say piney hop needle, hop needle, sorry, pine needle aromas. Very grapefruity. A little bit of mango in there, a little bit of apricot. It smells absolutely fabulous. I'm going to dive into this one. Cheers, everyone. Oh, my goodness me. Stone the Crows. And it's still pulling. It kind of ramped up and down. It was sort of like a roller coaster, the, the bitterness on this beer. Bitterness and flavour. First of all, there was a nice level of sweetness to the beer coming from the malt. Uh, I think that's such an important characteristic to a very good IPA, is that lovely malty sweetness to start. Then uh, a bitterness came kicking in, then a lo load of kind of grapefruity, mango, piney hops. Then it kind of, as I was speaking, it kind of mellowed off a little bit. And then mid-sentence, it came roaring back, that bitterness and flavour. Really good finish to the beer. Nice levels of carbonation. It's a nice kind of, it's a bubbly on the tongue carbonation. It helps to push the beer around inside of the mouth to hit the area, to hit the areas of the palate where you get taste buds down the, down the back of your throat, inside of the cheeks, top of the mouth. That carbonation kind of smashes it against your palate and it, and it really kind of gives you that full effect of an IPA. As you can see, this beer might have been stored on its side. There's a little bit of yeast there in the neck of the bottle. So it, I'm almost certain that it's a bottle conditioned beer. Now, well, that just gives it away, don't it? So, really, head or tails of it, really, the, the, the story is that I've drunk a lot of Norwegian beer over the last two months, three months maybe, since January. And to be honest, it's been utter class, utter class. The beers from Norway, I would never have got to try them because they, they'd all sold, I think it's through System Bole or a, a very similar to System where it's sold through the government and it's very difficult to export 
especially to places like the America and the UK where we're based. So uh, a massive, massive thank you to Helge. I feel very privileged. Um, I've drunk some amazing beer. Um, long may it continue. I mean, I've still got uh, a load of beers over there from hell, so um, really enjoying drinking Norwegian craft beer. Um, I think it's great stuff. I've not had a bad beer. And this, well, this is fabulous. It just keeps getting, it seems to get better. It obviously is not getting better. The level of beer from Norway is very, very good. But I kind of review one or two beers a week. Then I review kind of other beers from around the world. Then I could kind of, the week comes round, is usually a Sunday or a Monday, and I try some more Norwegian beer and kind of, it, it kind of, you, you kind of every week surprise yourself of how good the beer is from Norway. So a bottle conditioned beer then, let's have a look. Let's see if there's little bits and pieces floating around in the glass. There certainly is. Have a look at that. You might catch the odd piece of yeast there floating around. If not, you can see it's a hazy beer. That that I can see the yeast in the glass if, if you can. It's the camera. But yeah, a nice hazy beer. Does it affect the beer? No, it doesn't doesn't affect the beer at all. It's the second fermentation process that carbonates the beer naturally. If you want to know more, go and Google it. <laughs> right, so rating then for Fire and Flame IPA by the Hand Brewery in Norway. It's fantastic. It's a corking beer. It's a beer that I could, at 6.5% ABV, of course you've got to be a little careful, but it's a beer that I could certainly think, well, you know, I could fit two or three of these in. Um, I always say this, but it's what I like to do. I like to drink in the sunshine. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a beach boy, if you like, um, especially with some beer. Uh, yeah, great, great beer, great brewery, 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer, thank you to Helge. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.